Rick Joyner said, In Christ, troubles are turned into triumph. So in him we look at what is coming as the times of the greatest triumphs the world has ever known. This is Daniel White III with Just Jesus, a podcast designed to celebrate the birth, life, death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Uh, the impact he has on the world, and the salvation he offers to all people. This is episode number 27. The aim of this podcast is to encourage you to begin a personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ today, and to begin to live your life according to his will and his word for your life. Our Just Jesus passage from the Word of God today is Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6, which reads, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Our featured Just Jesus quote today is from Jeffrey E. Ramey. He said, who decides what is right and wrong in the world? Who has the authority to define morality for all of creation? It is not the courts, Congress, the media, public opinion, the politically correct police, the tolerance brigade, or even the church. The only answer has been is and always will be Jesus Christ. You can find his opinion on a great variety of subjects in his bestseller, The Bible. Holy Father God, we praise you and we thank you for your Holy Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. Help us to love him more, help us to obey him better, and help us, Lord, to uh, glorify your holy name uh, by sharing the gospel with others about the Lord Jesus Christ so that they can know him as their Savior as well. In Jesus Christ's name we pray and for his sake. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. In the early days after Jesus' ascension to heaven, the people we now call followers of Christ or Christians simply called their new faith the way. Yes, the way to a relationship with God through Jesus Christ, the way to joy, the way to peace, and the way to eternal life with God in heaven. Do you want to know the way to all of these blessings? Let me show you how. First, dear friend, please acknowledge that you are a sinner. Accept the fact that you have sinned against God. The Bible says we all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And because of that, we're on our way to a devil's hell without Jesus Christ. But the good news is, John 3.16, in the Bible, Jesus Christ said these words, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Just believe in your heart, dear friend, in the Lord Jesus Christ, that he died on the cross for your sins, he shed his blood, for your sins as the, as the Lamb of God who took away the sins of the world. He was buried and rose from the dead by the power of God for you so that you can live forever with him. Pray and ask him to come into your heart today and save your soul and he will. Romans 10:13 says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Until next time, my beloved, 
Please remember at the end of the day, only one thing matters, and that's Jesus, just Jesus and nothing else.